All right, folks, here we are once again with NAM with Star Ackerman from IK Multimeter. Now we're going to take a look at the iRig Blue Board. Now, this thing totally can control all your guitar effects. You just step on it and go. Now, I don't really know too much about it because I just got introduced to it, but let's let Star tell you all about this new product from IK Multimedia. So, Star, what's up? Well, we sh unofficially showed this at CES last week as well. Unofficially? Yeah, brought it, we brought it to the show. We were going to announce it here at NAM, but we ended up winning Best in Show for it there. Um, at CES too. So what is it? It's the very first MIDI expression pedal board that connects wirelessly Bluetooth to your iOS devices or your oh, wow. or your Mac or PC. So you can just hook this up wirelessly, run it through your computer and everything and control all the effects and everything of your guitar right through this, correct? Yes, correct. Because of those Bluetooth, it's just how you know you just put in a couple of AAA batteries into it, set it on the floor. It'll MIDI learn very quickly. You have the ability to put in two expression pedals. So in theory, if you're playing your guitar through your iPad, through your iRig, right, and you've got your effects going, and you set all of your parameters MIDI-wise up to your, you know, your different your stomp boxes or, or whatever you're working with, whatever software you're working with, you can sit there and play and change from one sound to another without ever taking your hands off your instrument. That's awesome. So what's the price on this thing getting the street? It should retail for $99 and it should be available in Q2. So there you have it folks, the iRig Blue Board. Check it all out. This thing's going to be coming out to the market. If you're a guitar player who doesn't like to mess with anything, you like to have complete control without taking your hands off your guitar, this will be a product to look at in 2013. Thanks for watching.